Today, we explore the remnants of the once luxurious Orlando Sun Resort in Kissimmee, Florida, a place now frozen in time, echoing the whispers of its glorious past and sudden abandonment. The Orlando Sun Resort opened its doors in the early 1990s, quickly becoming a popular destination for families and tourists visiting the nearby attractions, including Walt Disney World and Universal Studios. With its sprawling grounds, multiple pools, lavish suites, and top-notch amenities, it epitomized the Florida vacation dream. In 2010, the resort was officially closed, leaving behind a ghostly shell of what once was. The doors were locked, the staff departed, and nature began reclaiming the property. What was once a bustling hub of activity is now an eerie and silent reminder of the past. All right, guys, here we go. I am in Orlando, Florida, and behind me here is an abandoned resort. A lot of people have been here, and I'm, I happen to be here in Florida, so I thought I'd check it out. Uh, from what I know, guys, it's pretty busted up inside, but I got some history to give you guys. Hopefully this goes off well. I haven't even been inside yet. I just got dropped off, so I guess we're going to go in and see how this goes. Let's go. All right. So here we go, guys. We got the outside of this old abandoned resort. I got no idea what we're looking at here. That's not looking good. I think I see some fire damage right there. It's in pretty rough shape, guys. They might have actually started some demolition here. Or it's all from fire. I think I see quite a bit of fire damage anyways, so. I think uh, the guys from Bright Sun Films, they were here when it was in really good shape. Yeah, a lot of fire damage here. <laughs> yeah, the entire exterior walls here are just gone. Here you've got the main area here where you'd get dropped off, so I guess we'll go in here. I don't have very high expectations for this one, guys. Wow, this place is trashed. Totally, totally trashed. Yeah, there's definitely been a fire here. Wow. <laughs> Here's where you check in. What a disaster. Look at this. The hotel was built in 1972 by the Carolando Corporation, owned by a small group of North Carolina investors who saw an opportunity to build a hotel complex right outside of the soon-to-be-built Walt Disney World in the late 1960s. So much graffiti, oh my god. Just trashed with the crappiest graffiti ever. It's a big room though. This would have been really nice when it was first abandoned. Okay, what else we got over here? Souvenir shop.
Carlando soon hit serious financial trouble, and less than a year into the project, they sold the property to the Hyatt Corporation. Hyatt finished building over 3,400 hotel rooms and the convention center. All right, so there's a, there's a guy in a truck in the back there. My guess is that he's a scrapper. So I'm gonna try and stay away from that part. I don't wanna ruffle any feathers here, okay? So hopefully everything works out for us here. Hyatt operated the hotel for several years as a budget-friendly modern resort and convention center. But like most hotels in the area, it struggled to get heads in the beds through the early to mid 1990s. By 2002, Hyatt Orlando Resort was in serious financial trouble. Kissimmee's tourism economy was collapsing rapidly and those visiting Walt Disney World opted to stay on Disney property. On September 12, 2003, Hyatt suddenly closed its doors permanently without notice to guests or employees. They literally told guests to be out by noon that day and few got refunds. Really quiet in here, guys. Look at this. Wow. All right, let's move on, guys. Out of this room and see what else we got. What's going on back here? This looks like a restaurant. Pretty dark in here. I'm just popping off quick pictures as I go here, guys, okay? Pretty dark, might as well move on. Let's go back here, guys. To the convention center. Staircase here. Got a long corridor here. The hotel was later purchased at auction by the Moynian Group out of New York. The new owners plan to repurpose the hotel campus by making the rooms into condominiums. While they waited for investors and permits, the hotel sat vacant for several years. In 2007, Moynian decided to reopen the hotel so that it would generate some income until they could move forward with the condo project. 
new furniture, soft goods, and landscaping were part of a nearly $1 million refurbishment. It was renamed the Orlando Sun Resort. The owners tried to attract new business by offering DJ dance parties and even boxing matches. These efforts failed. Let's go this way. Meeting rooms over here. And we got rooms over here. I'm probably not going to stay here very long. It's pretty trashed. I'm going to try and keep this one short, guys. All right, let's keep going. What's up, guys? All right, let's go into the courtyard and see the pool, and we'll check out some of these rooms back here. Pool back here somewhere, guys. Well, there it is. Here's the pool, guys. It's a freaking Walking Dead apocalypse back here. This is crazy. Like, so close to Disney in such a built-up established community that this is just here this is nuts you guys look at this holy crap Guys, can you believe this? Holy crap. This is interesting here with the curtains.
Guys, look at this tree. <laughs> it's a beast. It's a complete beast of a tree. Holy crap. Look at that thing. Hey, I'm almost done in this area here. I'm just gonna go back to the pool for a minute. And I'm gonna go somewhere else. I had no idea what the layout is here, guys. I haven't really done my research. I just knew I was gonna come here. So I don't know if I'm gonna miss things, but anyways. Go back to the pool. Alright guys, we're going to leave the pool area and see what's down here. I feel like that's where I came from. That's the convention center. That's the front, so let's go back here. And can we get anywhere through here? Let's put my light on here. Go. It's just completely freaking trashed in here, guys. I can't tell what's vandalism, what's natural, what's scrapping. <laughs> All right, let me take a couple of pictures and then we're going to head, I don't know, somewhere. Back through here. Like I said, guys, I'm not going to stay here much longer because you're probably getting bored because a lot of this is just the same stuff. Unless I find something cool, so don't leave yet because I might still find something interesting. Looks like there might be another courtyard back here. That's another pool over here. I see a lawn chair. Let's go check that out. It's so overgrown. So many little lizards. Hey! This is me realizing that there are several rooms in this wing of the abandoned hotel being lived in by squatters. They called out to me as I walked into the courtyard. You heard me yell, hey, back to them. If I were back home in Canada, this would not phase me. However, I am in Florida with my daughter for the cheerleading world championships, and I can't risk any run-ins or reasons for me to miss the events. So, I opted to leave the area and not disturb the residents with nonsense. A 
Okay guys, so we got some homeless living in these rooms, so we're not going to stay in this area, those rooms over there. So we're going to move on and leave them alone, alright? Because <clears throat> this is their home and not mine, guys. I think I'm back at the front now, kind of. Yeah, I think this is where I came in. All right, moving along, I saw a picture I wanted to take of a really big exposed staircase where all the glass has been removed. So we're back here by the convention center. All right, here it is, guys. <clears throat> Here. And this here would have all been in, encased in glass for that staircase back there. That's crazy. <clears throat> so there's rooms over there. And then you've got this whole staircase that goes up towards the convention center. And then over there. But I like that. That's really cool. All right, let's go back to the front and see what we can find on the other side. And then we're probably gonna wrap it up from there, okay? Look at this. I'm gonna get a picture of this here. So much just decay and overgrowth. Crazy. All right, I'm not gonna bore you guys by walking and talking, so I will uh, meet you guys on the other side. All right, guys, so there's the front right in the middle at the lobby right there so we went in we went into that side of the main lobby and then we went all the way over there to that side now there's lots more but i do feel like it's probably a lot of repetition of the other side i will take a walk over there and we'll see but uh yeah we're almost done guys okay guys we're walking over here to see okay see a gazebo See just more rooms. Zebos here for people to sit and hang out at. All right. Okay, there's the guys over there. There's a guy over there that I saw earlier. And I don't know, he's wearing he's wearing a high vest vest so he might actually be legitimately here so maybe we'll head over this way okay well now we're right over this way now a bit farther away from the guy with the truck better safe than sorry guys i'm just going to get a couple of pictures over here on this side and then we're going to wrap it up anyways so we'll see what's going on over here see if there's anything interesting and then we're going to and we're gonna throw my drone up, guys, so stay tuned for that. Be right back. Yeah, that's uh, that's about it, guys. So, so here's what we're gonna do, guys. Uh, pretty much, This side is pretty much exactly the same as the other side. You've got courtyards with swimming pools. All the rooms are busted, everything's the same. So here's what I'm gonna do, guys. Now that we're done, I'm gonna take my drone and I'm gonna throw my drone up and we're gonna get a look at how huge this property is from the sky. And then I'm going to narrate the history of this place uh, while I show you guys drone footage. So that's going to wrap up the talking portion of this video and me walking around. So stick around for a couple more, more minutes, throw up my drone, learn some things, and then we're going to wrap it up, guys. So while we're here, you guys know what to do. Make sure you like the video. As always, drop me a comment down below. And hey, if you're here and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, guys. Follow my channel for more awesome abandoned content like this one and so much more. So stay tuned for drone footage, some history, and that's it. See you guys next time. Peace. The abandoned Orlando Sun Resort and Convention Center sits right outside the entrance to Walt Disney World Resort and the Disney-created town of Celebration. The resort was built with a pod design where rooms were clustered into separate but connected buildings. Many of the buildings are octagon shaped. This was considered a futuristic and modern design in the early 1970s. 
The Orlando Sun Resort was a massive complex. At time of opening, it was the largest hotel in Florida. Guests of the New Orlando Sun Resort saw the hotel as grossly outdated and wrote negative reviews on Google about hot water issues, mold in the hotel rooms, and a lackluster pool. The Orlando Sun Resort closed once again in 2012 and was listed for $74 million. It was purchased in 2021 by another New York company that took a generous grant from Osceola County to improve the property. Nothing has been done on the property to date, and the old hotel still sits abandoned. In March of 2024, it was reported that plans have been revealed to transform the abandoned resort into a massive new tourism destination, including hotels, attractions, restaurants, retail, and more. The massive construction project would see the former Orlando Sun Resort and Convention Center raised to the ground in favor of a huge new 77-acre entertainment district called the Ovation Project. The abandoned Orlando Sun Resort sits on a prime location on US 192, also known as Erlo Bronson Memorial Highway, outside of Walt Disney World at the I-4 and US 192 interchange across from Celebration.